play. And he's got room. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. Escaping the pressure right. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Second and ten, eluding the pressure right. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. A give to the game's all-time leader, Emmett Smith. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. So the Lions go backwards there, and unfortunately, that's something they saw a lot in 2015. They had the fewest rushing yards of any team in the game. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. But I believe the Lion was there to recover it. Yes, they will indeed keep possession. Now they face a third down after the fumble on second down. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. And he'll take it just outside the 40. <laughs> nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Seahawks will have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. They go back to the air here after the INT. Flushed out right. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Second down following the incompletion. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. A second down throw here for Mariota. Flushed to his right. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. Would have been right at about a 52-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. Throwing is Mariota. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hand. And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. In there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by the safety, Calvin Pryor, and he's just across midfield. And down.
spike and he faked it. He's going to fire one deep. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And to the 40-yard line. That and Detroit getting set to go now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Passing again, Dalton on second and 10. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed, And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And two pits thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks. And while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They rolled out of the pocket right, and I think he wanted a little something more out of that play. Obviously, instead, he just he hit a safety back. It looked like two well-coached teams there, even though there was no yardage gain, because the offensive guys, hey, they realized their quarterback was out of the pocket. All the receivers went to the right spots, tried to get in his sight line, tried to open themselves up. Just nowhere to go where they could gain yardage. How about the defensive guys, though? did not lose leverage and kept their poise and made a really nice play. And you would have to think an obvious passing situation here on third and nine. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Mariota to throw it, eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. They're indeed going. It's Mariota. He's got time. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Rolling to his left. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Calvin Pryor. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And last time we saw them go for it in kind of an unusual situation. It's not like it's a fourth quarter do or die. They went for it, didn't get it. We'll see how that affects them this go around. Partner, I'm wondering if we're starting to see the effects of analytics coming into play here, where people are studying the number of possessions, how many times you should go for it, what position it leaves your team in. Maybe we're starting to see a little bit of that creeping into the NFL game. Yeah, I think we, we've seen it in other sports, maybe into the NFL now as well. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. And a catch made by Kenny Brand. They'll get 19 yards there. And it'll give the Seahawks a first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up the first down. 
Mariota flushed out right. And some room to roam now. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. From the red zone now, Mariota flush to his right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We're back to Baltimore after this. Mariota now on second down. Escaping the pressure right. Fighting him off. Just ran right through the trash. Give him eight on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. On third down, Mariota forced out to his left. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. These type of plays are backbreakers for our defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do that. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Emmett Smith taking it in from two yards out. And the seat. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he is not going to make it. They stop him up short. And this will remain a 6-0 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Short boot, take it at the 21. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. So out now come the Lions. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? They'll start out on the ground with Emmett. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Second down, Dalton rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And he's able to get it back to the 33 yard. 